name is Kaylee and I'll be your nurse for the day. Can you please confirm your name and date of birth for me? Um, Gabriella San Ramon, October 5th, 1992. Perfect. And what brings you in today? Um, about a year ago, I was diagnosed with breast cancer and they sent me up here from the other unit um, for chemotherapy. And usually when I get chemo, I get really nauseous and I don't feel well. So they sent me, me here to get meds before I go into chemo today. Oh, perfect. And do you know what time you're getting your chemotherapy? Um, around 2. Okay, perfect. Let me just go check your chart and I'll be right back. Okay, patient Gabriela San Ramon, room 396, bed 1. I'm going into her um, medication chart to see if she has an order for any anti-emetic drug, and she is ordered Andosterone, Zofran. She has, uh, it's a PO medication, 24 milligrams prior to chemotherapy. So she's getting chemotherapy at about two o'clock. I will administer this medication at about 1.30. Um, I'm also going into her medication chart to check if there's any um, EKG present. I see an EKG with normal sinus rhythm, no prolonged QT syndrome. I'm going back to check for any other medications that would possibly be interactions. Um, she has no SSRIs, MAOIs, or other serotonin drugs that would increase her risk for serotonin syndrome. And I will go back into the patient's room and give her any adverse effects of this medication. Hi mom, how are you feeling today? I'm feeling really nauseous and I'm worried because last time I got chemo, they didn't give me anything and I didn't feel well at all. Can you find out from the nurse what they're giving me? Yeah, let me go talk to Nurse Kaylee. Hi Gabby, how are you feeling? I'm a little nauseous. Hi, I'm her daughter Karen. She was telling me she feels like um, a little nervous that she's going to be feeling nauseous, even more nauseous after a chemo today. Is there any medication she could get prior? Yes, and I actually was just looking in your chart, and you said that you were getting chemo at about 2 o'clock, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's about one fifteen right now. Um, usually we give a um, medication for chemotherapy-induced nausea and vomiting. We give it about 30 minutes prior to the chemotherapy. Um, so I was looking in your chart, and you do have an order for Zofran. Um, which is a drug that prevents nausea and vomiting, especially uh, associated with chemotherapy. What kind of drug is that? Is that a needle? Um, no, it's a med uh, oral medication. So um, it's called an anti-emetic. That's the drug class that it's in. Um, again, it would just prevent nausea, vomiting. Um, so like I said, you can get that 30 minutes prior. Um, so I can come back in in 15 minutes, but do you have any questions about the drug? I have a question. Um, what are some of the side effects that this drug? Sure. So um, sometimes you might get a headache, feeling a little bit dizzy. Um, you might have mental status changes. These are all signs of um, what's called serotonin syndrome. Um, so since it is blocking your serotonin, um, you can develop serotonin syndrome. So if you do experience any of these side effects, make sure to discontinue the drug. Um, make a note of it that you did have a um, that you did have a negative reaction to this, and I would suggest definitely contacting your primary care provider. Um, so, <clears throat> like I said, I'll be back in um, in about fifteen minutes to give you that drug, and we can work from there. I also have a question: How long will it take for this drug to start to work? It usually is between fifteen and thirty minutes is the peak of it. Um, so that's why I'll give it to you at about 1.30 or um, this way when you go downstairs for your, onto the oncology floor for your chemotherapy, then it'll all be in effect and you won't, um, hopefully won't be feeling any nausea. Okay, thank you so much. No problem. Um, but uh, right now on a scale of 0 to 10, do you have any nausea currently? Yeah, maybe about like a 5. Okay, perfect. Okay, I'm just going to go put that in your chart and I'll get the medication for you. Hi Gabby, I'm back again with your medication for your nausea and vomiting. Um, so I'm just going to scan your wrist if you don't mind. Could you just confirm your name and date of birth for me? Um, Gabriela San Ramon, October 5th, 1992. Okay, perfect. And you said that you were still feeling nausea, nauseous. Mm -hmm. um, and on a scale of 0 to 10, what did you say that your rating was? About like a 5, 6 right now. 5 to 6, okay, perfect. So, um... <coughs> Like I was saying, this is an oral medication, um, so I checked your chart earlier. You have good gag reflexes, everything to take oral medications, um, and is it okay for you just to take the medication with water? 
Um, yeah, that'll be okay. fine. Okay, so perfect. I'm just gonna do all my proper medication checks right now. So it is Zofran, it is a PO medication. Um, right row, we have the right dose is 24 milligrams. Right time, I'm giving it to you right now at 1.30. It is a PRN medication, so um, you can get it whenever you are feeling nauseous. Um, just so you know, this is also a drug that you are able to take at home if you are feeling nauseous, um, as any side effects of whether it be chemotherapy or um, just any um, nausea. Okay, so this is um, a medication that you can take at home. Like I said, it is, um, it is listed for uh, chemotherapy or if you uh, post-op patients usually get it or um, motion sickness, anything that would really um, induce nausea. Um, so also, like I said, I was telling your daughter about the different side effects of it, possibly about serotonin syndrome. So that would include um, headache, dizziness, any mental status changes. Make sure to um, monitor your temperature if you have a temperature, low grade fever, anything like that. Um, make sure to stop the medication, agitation. Also, you can have some GI symptoms such as diarrhea, constipation. So again, any of those, make sure to stop the medication. Um, and contact your primary health care provider. So, um, like I said, I did all the medication checks and I'm just going to give you the medication right now. Let me just form proper hand hygiene. And you said you're good to take the medication with just water, mm -hmm. correct? Okay, so this is for you. Okay, perfect. So like I said, the peak duration of that, um, where it reaches its highest level of effect, is about 15 to 30 minutes. Um, so as soon as you're not feeling really any nauseous anymore, and so since it is prophylactic for your chemotherapy, um, we'll have somebody transfer you back down to your oncology floor to finish your chemotherapy. Do you have any other questions? No, that's all. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so I did check your uh, chart earlier, but just to hear it from you, do you have any cultural needs or anything that would maybe um, prevent you from taking this medication? No. Okay, perfect. Okay, so do you have any questions about the medication or anything? Okay, no. again, if you do have any questions, if you feel like you are having any um, adverse side effects, um, adverse reactions, anything like that, make sure to discontinue the um, Zofran, make a note of it so you know next time that you are um, maybe have an intolerance or anything like that to the medication, um, and contact your primary health care provider. Okay, thank okay, you. Okay, so um, like I said, it will take about 30 minutes to enact, and then you'll be moving back down to your oncology floor to finish your chemotherapy. Okay. okay. Um, if you have any questions, just press your call button. I'll be right outside in the hallway if you need anything. Okay. Thank you. Is there any changes in um, room 356 status that I need to know about? Um, no, about half an hour ago, I just administered Zofran to her. I gave her 24 milligrams PO. Um, she had about five or six levels of nausea during the time um, before I administered it, and then I just went in to transfer her down to her um, oncology floor, and it's down to a, between a one and a two now, so she's good to go for her chemotherapy. Okay, perfect. Thank you.